crazy. Ah, uh, boy, boy, boy. Getting old doesn't help. But here we are. Here we are. So please bear with me. Isn't this catalog beautiful? I know that most of you already have the catalog. All of you have that you're watching have the catalog, and I'm happy. But if you don't have it, you can come on by tomorrow. Not tomorrow, this weekend, or contact me, and I'll be happy to provide you one. Okay, so this is the catalog, and I'm going to open up the page where we have the suite that I'm going to focus. Uh, this is the suite that I, I'm going to focus for my crafty club for this month. Crafty kit, not club, because it could be a club or a class, okay? I consider that my monthly class, but it can be a club. And I love the paper. To tell you the truth, I love it. So what I'm going to do this month differently, I usually, when I do the the designer series paper, I usually um, cut in half the pack. But because we have this sheet, and I don't want to cut it in half, okay? Because then you lose all the image. If I cut it, then... So my half a pack will be six 12 by 12 paper. Okay, and in my design, I did not use this, so you're free to use it however you want. Because look, you can make one, two, three, four, five, five cards using these for your card base, and then you can add these parts. So I didn't want to cut it, so I did not use this pattern at all in my design, but I use everything else. Okay, so I'm going to give you a six by 12. Um, then, uh, you're going to get, where's my basket? I decided to focus on the new ink color. So this is the pack that you're going to get the new 2023, 2025 ink color dots and the jute. Okay. So these are what's included in your package and the projects are uh, these, um, this is one. This is the other one. I love these colors. And um, we have fun folds. Okay. This is just partial because you have the inside. And then this. I love this. Okay. And I love these dies. So these are the four cards. You get to make two of each for a total of eight. So you basically, the cards are free. Okay. What you're paying, you're paying for the supplies. And that's it. And I think it's a it's a great deal. So if anybody's interested, you can take it to go. I have plenty of customers that are taking it to go. I ship to them um, or they come and pick it up. Um, if they don't have time or don't want to come to my studio. But you have to have the bundle because I do not... I do not cut anything that is included in the bundle. Okay, I will give you the car stock and you will have to cut. Or you can choose whatever you have and use it at home. But if you want to order the bundle uh, as part of the class kit, I will give you uh, free tax and shipping. So basically, you're just paying the amount that is in the catalog. That's an extra perk of getting the class with me. So you're only paying $53 and you're saving on shipping and tax if you want to add on it. Or you can just add the, the stamp set if you want to. But then the dies are beautiful and I have done a die cutting here to show you okay so this is what the dies will cut we have a label and then we have all these parts so I wanted to show you that you could do this okay this is neat too this is all I mean you can stamp you can stamp and die cut the image but you also if you want to stamp you can do that as well as this this is an image that you will stamp from here so this will die cut these image this is a two-step stamping and the image here is only a 90 percent and when you open it you realize how big it is it is a photopolymer tonight i have all the stamps out okay so i want to show you that we'll go with that then these this one you can also stamp and die cut okay but you can also do this okay this is a wonderful die 
like so. Okay, and then this is the stem of the flower that you can do that. These are the leaves. This one you can either put it on here if you want to, okay, as well as this. That will go up here if you want to or up here, okay. It works for both of them. And we have sprig, and then we have a, a leaf that you will be able to stamp and die cut, a leaf. Or you can just cut off this and use these as leaves if you want to do some um, tucking in. But that's it. Okay, so this is a set of 14 dies, and they're well worth it. Okay? So let's start with the class for tonight. We're using this, and I'm using a complete set of different different um, embellishments, okay? I am going to use something different. Okay, so if you're interested in getting the class or getting the cards, I always design four cards, and you can get them for free with an order of $35 or more. You get the supplies. I don't do the stamping and um, because I cannot, okay? And I will provide you with the car stock for you to do the die cut. You will have to have the Cheerful Daisies bundle to finish the cards. Or um, I think I've designed it in a way that you can substitute with whatever stamp you have, okay? But if your order goes over... $55, then you get a free embellishment, embellishment. But for me, that will be the one that I'm using on all the cards. Okay. Um, what else? This is the host code to use. You have to use the host code. Otherwise, um, uh, it means that you don't want to get the car class. Okay. By choosing or using the host code when you place the order online, it tells me that you want either just the cards or the whole shebang, the cards plus the embellishment. Okay, I will include the pieces of ribbon, but I will not include any embellishment. Okay, and you have to place your order by May 16. That will be next Tuesday. And also my live next Wednesday will not be at 7 p.m. because I'll be on a plane and I'm planning to do it in the morning. And I will let you know about the time. It will be probably around lunchtime, maybe 10, 11 because I know my husband is going to tell me, let's go, let's go. Okay. And hopefully I'll be already all packed by then. Who knows? I have so many things to finish. Swaps to do. The team swaps that we have. And other swaps. So, yeah. I am busy, busy, busy. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Okay. Everybody, welcome. Okay, ladies. And also, I saw Leslie popping on welcome leslie if you're still watching thank you for watching okay as a reminder what do i do with the cards that i make tonight i give them away the only way that you can get them is by posting your comments and then at the end of my video i will do at the end of my presentation i will do a random comment picker um through facebook so um the more you comment the more chances you have to um you know win the cards okay i will have four different ladies winning and then if we go over a certain number and usually it's what 20 22 then i might give away a prize but tonight it seems that people are busy okay so let's start okay this is the deal for tonight and we're starting okie dokie so what i am going to use tonight i am using the bright and beautiful design series paper and i am using the um adhesive backed solid gems and the ribbon duo combo pack that I think coordinates with everything. So I'm using this palette of colors for the class. Okay, so let's start with the first card. Which one do I want to start with? Uh, which one? Oh, the simple one. Okay, so the supplies that you're getting in your packet, you will also get your 
uh, envelope. So what you see here is what you'll get with your um, minimum $35 order, okay? So these are the pieces. I already do the embossing if my design requires embossing. I will die cut any of the shapes that are not included in the bundle. Um, and you will have to stamp, okay? And I'm using new colors or um, new core colors. Um, this is the bubble bath color. Yes, it is. And this is one of the returning colors. This is Misty Moonlight. This was an ink color and now it's coming back. And I love it because I love this blue. I love blue. And this is embossed with the, oh, what do you call it? This embossing folder that I'm glad did not retire and it's coming back. So I embossed it with that. I did most of the work ahead of time. So then we don't have to waste too much time because I've been blabbering for a while. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. We're going to have this. This is one of, this is the simple card. And then we're going to build it up, okay? Build each card. And then this is going to go glued down like so, okay? And we're going to grab our adhesive. And this one is going to go down flat. And you will say, what? You're not using um, dimensionals? Not at the moment. Okay. Then I took a strip. You get a strip of the designer series paper. It might be like this. Might be something different. And I'm using the more of, you know, it's not because obviously this is this um, pack of designer series paper is part of one of the suites that is the balloon dies. Okay, and um, I didn't want to use them on this side. I wanted the subtle side. Okay, so we are going to just go down like so. Simple and easy. Okay, but obviously once you create your card, you can do whatever you want because it's your card. Okay, you might even flip the other side. Okay, to the other side. Now I have... This is Fresh Freesia. See? This is Fresh Freesia coming back from the ink, ink colors that just retired. And this is Bubble Bath. This is Misty Moonlight. And this is Lemon Lime Twist that is coming back. So I can put this one down. And now I'm using Dimensionals on the back. So this card is pretty simple. As I said, we're starting simple and then we'll build it up a bit and this is gonna go like so okay done this is the skeleton part of it now let's start stamping okay we are using the i have all my so stuck okay where's the stamp set so i can show it to you okay so we have different images i'm using these two and these two as well as this little thing to do the middle of that. So each of the stamp have, um, they do have an outline and then a coloring or inside. So one has, it's kind of a, as lines and the other one is flat, okay? The one that is flat is the one that you're going to fill in or color the image with, okay? Okay. Oh, Aaron, then you will, um, gonna show us what you did. Okay. I'm reading what you were posting. Okay. And the colors that I'm using for this card, I'm using, I am using Lemon Life Twist, Fresh Freesia, and Bubble Bath, and Misty Moonlight. So I'm, I am matchy matchy with the car stock. Now, for those of you that are new and you know that in the back we have these stickers and I haven't done with mine because I didn't have time. So I'm taking this, okay, because I needed to do this. So I'm doing it here so you can see. 
what I do, I do one that down there, Misty Moonlight. Then I'll take this one that doesn't have anything. Okay. And um, let me open my... This is new, so... Okay. This is going to go right here. Hope you can see. Straight. There. And then I take... The Mysterious Broom, that's French, and it goes right here. I mean, I can do it this way if I wanted to, yeah, because sometimes you get, you look at the bottom. And then, if you have the re-anchor, because it's important, and I don't have it with me, I'll take the this one, it says Misty Moonlight. And let's pretend that this is Misty Moonlight. Then I will wrap this around the cap of my re-anchor so I will be able to see where, I mean, that that's the re-anchor, okay? But I'm not going to do it now because I don't have it yet. I bought the stamps, but I didn't buy the re-anchor yet. But it's something that I will do because it's important to have the re-anchors. Okay, so let's start with stamping with Fresh Fraser. We're starting with the outline, and I'm taking the one that has ridges or whatever. So this is gonna be down here, and this is gonna be up there, okay? Then I'm gonna take, where's the other stamp? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I put it out in my basket right here. Now I need to fish for it. There you go. Okay, and now with this one, we're doing it like so. Okay, and I can close this. Then I'll take my bubble bath, and now that I'm stamping with a solid stamp I'm gonna grab something that has a cushion and I am going to go with this that is the flat ink it up and then because this is lighter I should be able to matchy matchy there and then do the same right here I hope you don't see my head and voila that is done, and I will do this for this one, okay, and now I'm going to take the small of this to do the center of the flower, there, center of the flower, but also it will help me do this, okay. And then I'll bring it up so you can see what I'm doing or what I did. Okay? See how easy it is to stamp? Then I'm taking my Lemon Light Twist or whichever color you want. Okay? You can be matchy-matchy or use different colors. And where's my leaf? Leaf. And we're going to do this. We're going to kind of put this one right there, this one right here, and this one right there. Okay, just to give it a little bit of a color. Done, done, done. That we have a sentiment to stamp. And I love that this has one, two, three, four different sentiments. You made my day. Meaning like, thank you, oops a daisy, so sorry, wishing you the brightest birthday, or your friendship means everything. So this covers all the different occasions, and I love that. And so for this one, I'm going to stamp and do, you made my day. And we're going to do it with Misty Moonlight on our, um, whatchamacallit, this is Lemon Lime Twist. Hopefully this is a straight. Voila. And yes, same with 
was checking if I cut something. Okay, so these will be there. And now, let me grab my chamois here to wash the stamps because I think, okay. And I'll try to go quick. If you have any questions, comments, make sure that you post them. Go invite your friends because the more the merrier and merrier and then if you would be so kind to share this video it would be nice so i can get more people to watch and who knows they might even like what i'm doing so now this goes put on like that it's very simple and i'm doing it with regular adhesive uh, we're not gonna put any dimensionals so this is a very simple and easy card like like so this one is going to be like so but we're going to give it a trim a bit of a trim and i'm using we can even do this for this one let's do this this is different from my sample okay we're gonna this is gonna go on dimensionals Gonna put it in the middle like so. Okay. And that is gonna be right there. Mm, yeah, we can do that. Is that straight? Nope. That is straight. Okay, then I'm gonna take my ribbon, my bow that I already did. See the colors in this? It's lemon lime twist, and this I think is petal pink, but it works. I think it works. Let me just fix my bow. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our mini glue dots. And this is, ta-da, done. I'm going to fix this bow. Okay, voila. Uh, trim this one a bit just a little bit and then the embellishments and so the colors in here this is lemon lolly this is boho blue and this is mm, mauve the new color and i think i'm gonna use that moody mauve something like that <laughs> i'm telling you yeah moody mauve there you go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let me get my you pick tool and let's go with the mauve. The mauve. And we're gonna go like so. And then we're gonna put one right there. Okay, so this is the first card. This is simple. So if you don't have the stamp set, you can stamp whatever. You can stamp an image or just a big sentiment and this card is done, okay? So one is done there. Let me put my sticker away. Okay, let's proceed with the next one that we're stepping up a bit. Uh, we're doing that one, so we're needing this color so now we're working with pretty peacock car stock okay so this is what you get pretty peacock you will get your insert because it's dark car stock so you can do that then you will get this piece you will get two pieces the skinny one goes right there and this is where you will stamp if you have the stamp, you can stamp here and you'll have plenty for stamping and die cutting. So what I did, I did it ahead and I can show you, but it's basically taking the large stamp and just find them. Okay. And the colors, I'm going to just do it for you. So it's not a problem. So you can see, so we're using the large that has the two and the small that we did before. But the colors that we're using are, the color that we're using are, 
I combined these three colors. I combined crushed curry with lemon lolly and copper clay. Copper clay is one of the new in colors. Crushed curry has been around for a while and I love that. And this is lemon lolly. It's one of the new color part of the core. Okay. So the way you're going to do it is, and this is also for those of you that are part of the uh, crafty club or kit. Uh, this is um, what to do. And I'm going to show you because you will stamp and also will have a, a quite a bit of, um, not quite a bit because I tried to keep it simple. So I'm going to stay up here. You will have to stamp. That's what I'm at, that I want to say because you're making eight cards but complete different colors okay so you do that with um, crushed curry and then we're going to take lemon lolly and we're going to go with the stamp that fills in okay and we're trying to do matchy matchy let's see sorry if you have my head in the middle like so look perfect okay you always do the dark or the outline first it's easier okay and then because you can see through then you go in and do your coloring okay there you go and then we're going to close this and then grab these with our copper clay and we're going to fill it in fill in okay like so okie dokie and then if you have your dies where are the dies you're gonna grab these two dies one and two and you're gonna go ahead and die cut, okay? And then you have those. So if you don't have the stamp set, you don't need this piece, but you it will be in your kit. You can directly stamp on here, whichever you want, okay? But we're stamping, and I forgot that we're going to use also lost lagoon with this one because we're going to stamp some of the leaves and the leaf, leaf is right here okay so we're going to do actually the first thing that we're doing after you do that the first thing that we're doing is stamping the sentiment and for this one i'm choosing wishing you the brightest birthday and i'm going to do that right away so then I know where to position everything else, okay? And then I'm taking my leaves and we're gonna go eyeball it. Let's see. Kinda eyeball it because then I'll position my die cut. Like so. Because I have my sample, I know where the leaves are, but what you can do, you can take the die cut and then say, okay, this can go here, okay, like so, and this one will go here, like so, okay? So this is what is going to happen, okay? So... Uh, but before we do anything else, we're going to grab our ribbon and you'll get a little piece and we're going to just do this. Okay, define like so, simple and easy. You know my thing with the ribbon, I don't wrap it around all of it because, and this may be crooked, yeah, big time. Uh, because I want to save ribbon, right? And now that I have that, I can take this matting. And before I do so, tell me that you've missed my technique <laughs> of wrapping the edges with scissors. 
to me this is just the simple but it gives it gives it um a bit of a texture so now i will take dimensionals and i want to secure this ribbon for sure like that there and there and i don't think i need any more okay voila and now this is gonna go like so i'm gonna grab our die cuts and just to make sure i'm gonna just put one in the middle because it depends on where i'm gonna put it okay so this one is gonna be mm, like so i can even go off a bit if i want to this one is going to be like so. Okay. And then I'm going, I'm going to do a bow because you're going to get a little bow. It's going to be easier for you instead of wrapping it around. Okay. Make this bow like so voila cut it are you still there because i don't see com oh whoa my comments are not how am i going to take this one off these comments off lemon lolly okay see i i was just sorry ladies it is and i love the print okay because the comments were not moving up or oh, whatever you know always something with when you go live and i need so i was like whoa i don't get any comments but you've been commenting away okie dokie so this is gonna go right there easy peasy nice and easy and then i can put this one up here and trim this okay voila there so now we're taking our pretty peacock i love this color it's a green it's a blue i don't know but it's it's a wonderful color that i love so glad that it came back. And then you're going to get a strip of designer series paper. Maybe this, maybe something different. You can flip it around if you want to. You can do this and put it like so. Or we're going to go this way. Okay. And we're going to just do down like so. And this is a two inch, I think. Two inch by five and a half. So nothing special about this layout but i think this does it all all these colors new colors bright i wanted to play with them okay and it goes like so and now we need the blings and the blings are in front of my nose and we're gonna use it's either boho blue or uh, balmy blue, but we can find out. You go in the back and let's go read what it says, where they matchy matchy with number, we're at number five. Um, it's boho blue, lemon lolly, and copper clay. This is copper clay. We're going to use boho blue. I'm going to grab this. Come on up. Where is it? I didn't pick it up. Oh, come on up. Okay. I'm going to put it up here. This one is going to be a little bit different because the positioning. I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to grab this one down there. So this is going to be different from my original. Just the positioning of the blings. Okay. There. So this is card number two. So we're moving up 
from just stamping down there, stamping and die cutting. Okay, and oops, we have the inside. So for the inside, I think I'm going to go and do something simple. We're going to just do the leaves to make it quick. Uh, no, we're going to do this. Watch me. I'm going to do this with mm, this flower right here. We're going to use this. So we're going to go with the outline right there. And then we're going to do lemon lolly. right there and then copper clay and voila right let me pile them up and then we're going to obviously you can stamp whatever you can write whatever but this is done like so so this is what you could do, or you don't have this stamp set, you can do whatever, but you'll get the supplies with your $35 or more order, or with your order of over 55 supplies plus the embellishments. Just as a reminder, okay? And then card number three will be a fun fold, and we're switching colors. Another set of new colors, come or, new colors or colors that are coming back. So what you will get, you will get, this is, um, it's French. It's called, let me just read it because I don't remember. It's um, Azur Afternoon. So this is French and English together. Azur, Azur means blue. Okay, azzurro, if you say in Italian, azur is French, azzurro, it's Italian. So it's very similar, okay, it's a Latin language, both of them. So this is your fun fold, simple and easy, my usual fold. Then you have, and this is, um, then we have blueberry bushel, you'll have that. You'll have this piece that will, um, no, actually no, yes, you have two. That will be exactly the same one that goes right here and that will go into the inside then you'll have a piece of the design issues paper and you will have the label but this one you will die cut i will give you the pieces or maybe depending if i'm in, in a good mood you can um i may even uh, do that so what i did Basically, this is Berry Burst, and this is Bubble Bath, okay? I die cut one time, putting the dies together. I don't know if you played with the dies, if you have them or not. Let me take them out. Woo! If it comes out. Come on, come on. Just wanted to show you. In order to get this, you will need to run the paper with these two together. So then you will have this die cut and something in the middle. Um, you will have this one and something in the middle here, you take it off and there. Then you will have to die cut the, pa the piece like so. Okay, so two cuts and I did it for both. Okay, so if you put this one in the middle, you get this. If you don't put it, then you get that. And you can stamp this and die cut it as well, okay? Let's put this away. Like so. Just wanted to show you. Okay, now, let me grab my sample. Oops, lost my sample. Lost my sample. We're going to stamp on this. Let's put it all away. Oh, boy. So, we're going to get... The sentiment and then where's my stem oh here and the leaf the leaves the leaf and I'm going to clean it because I'm not sure 
the color that I used. Oh, yeah, I used the, the other one. Okay, so I want to do two stems. Okay, let's see if I remember. So this one is going to go like so, and I'm going to use... I'm going to use um, Lemon Lime Twist. And hopefully I won't mess up, but you can always stamp on the other side, right? So this one... Mm, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so for this one, we're going up this way. Okay. And then this one, actually wrong. You're going to partially ink it. We're just going to do some. And then we're going to connect. Is that what I did? We need a little bit more. And then from here, we're connecting. There. Okay, but then I want to extend this, so I am just cleaning it again, eyeball it, because I want to go all the way up there, so I'm just going to ink this part, and then extend, voila, okay, that is done, did you see what I did? going this way and that way and then i'm taking my leaves and this one now is going to be a little bit different from my original design and then down there oops we're gonna cover it and then we'll go up here okay we're done with that. That was stampy. Now we're going to assemble. So we're going to do the reverse. This is going to go on top of this. And this is going to be like so. But what did I do? Oh, I know. I am grabbing. I'm not going to use the liquid glue because I want to pop it up. So I'm just going to put a mini glue dot, uh, no, a mini dimensional there and a mini dimensional here. And it's going to hold it. If you don't like it, then you can do, um, what you may call it, liquid glue. So everything is flat, but I like to give it a dimension. So that's what we're going to do it like so. Voila. And then we're going to put two minute, one dimensional in the middle of this and one dimensional in the middle of this. And we're doing this one like so we're doing this like so okay and then this one is gonna be put on here we're gonna stamp the sentiment that says oops a daisy we're gonna use um, blueberry bushel because we're matchy matchy Ooh. I don't I didn't like the the noise the squeaky and then we're gonna do oops a daisy so sorry okay let me see if I get more comments I uh, love this card these dots remind me of the candy dots cute okay so here we are we're gonna mount this one uh, where's my adhesive right here on here okay we're gonna put our oops -a daisies here like so or like so one of the two I don't know. First, I want to see where my bow is going to go. You're going to get your bow. I think my bow is going to be like down here. And then this one is going to go like so. Or maybe, yeah, it will have to be 
it will live there or there. No, it will be here. Okay, let me put this on the card, then I'll decide. So, I don't like the bubbles because I don't think it will go, so I'm gonna go like so. But you can use the bumble, bubbles or whichever other uh, pattern that you get. Go one way or the other. Okay, here we go. This one now goes um, up here like so and I'm going to do dimensionals so I'm going to do one dimensional there one here and one here in the middle okay and I'm going to center everything top and bottom left to right voila and now that this is on I got to decide where my my sentiment can go. I'm gonna go up here. And then this one is gonna go like so. Yeah. Yuppie yup. One, two. Okay, so I said this I want it to be mm. no, let's put it down here. And then I'm going to get my mini glue dots and squeeze. And now this is going to go like so. Trim it. Trim it there. Now for this one, I just want to put it down here. And I don't think I'm going to stamp anything. Or I can do yet again. I can stamp it or no stamp it. I'm just going to leave it blank. Not. I'm going to do just leave. Leave. Just that. Just that. Not a flower person, but I did get the sweet. Oh, Pam, that's surprising. There you go. Leaves. That's it. Simple and easy. And this. I think this is, it's flower, but it's not too flowery. So I'm eyeballing it centering it not pressing down but i'll press down now now that i know where it goes i'm gonna use boho blue on these as well on this card as well come on up i'm gonna go one down there and then we do the medium right there and then the small down here Okay, so this is card number three for you. I showed you a little bit of a technique on how to extend the stem for the flowers to make it go up. Okay, three. Now, card number four, it's more my style and you know me. Okay, so what you get, you get this. You will get your, this is Lost Lagoon design, um, Lost Lagoon car stock. You get this Lost Lagoon that is embossed with a time-worn uh, embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. Then you will get your insert, your white. You will get your design series paper. You will get your die cut. And I used the set of new dies. Where are they? And I love these. Look how big this is. These are the countryside corners dies. And I decided, um, designed a set of cards. And that will probably be my next week's class. Yeah. With this one. And then you will get this piece. And the ribbon. If I am 
I can do, do it, then I will die cut for you. Otherwise, you will receive, um, you will receive, are you don't with all your swap? Um, Erin, I don't know what you're asking. Are you don't with all of your swaps yet? No, I'm not done. If you're asking me, I have to make swaps for the trip. I have to make swaps for the team. And I have to make a swap that I signed up for. Just crazy me. You know me, right? Okay. So this is the combination. This is the die that I showed you before. And I think, I don't think I'll have time. So you will get your piece of white and then your piece of soft sea foam where you die cut. I'm going to doctor this and I'm going to cut off the leaves. There. These leaves, you, you can keep them. And then you can even color them with um, a blend if you want to. What I'm going to do to my flowers, to my center here, I'm going to grab, you can grab a, mm, we can do this. I'm going to grab crushed curry and this, and I'm just going to do that. Okay. Oops. Oops, a daisy. I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. We're going to cover part of it. Okay, if I have another one, that's okay, because it looks nice no matter what. Okay, do I like it? Not, so I have another one, so I'm going to pay attention this time. You can do with that, or like I'm doing it now, you can even... It doesn't really matter if you poke all of these out. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay. I'm going to save that. So skip that idea. Or you can do it if you want to. Or grab your blend. And then just color it. This is Dark Daffodil Delight. I'm going to use my tip right here. You can use this. You can use whatever you want. So this way it's more controlled. Okay. That's better, right? Okay, let's work on this. And then I think when I designed this, I wanted to do something. So we're going to do something. I'm telling you, this is my stepped up card. So we're going to do a bunch of technique with this one. Let me grab my sample so I know what I'm talking about. So what I decided to do, um, this is, which one is the right here? So I'm going to, because I want to show the script okay a bit just to give it a bit of a okay that's it that is it Okay, so this is what you get, and then go back to your scissors, and let's rough it up. Let's make it look like it's it's been roughed up. There, and then we're going to do that. And that. I'm going to take our car base. We're going to glue it on top. Look what a difference. I just love this look. This is me, but as I said, you can do with it or not. But you get all the pieces. Okay. 
and then this is gonna go up here and then you'll take your design insurance paper okay and we're gonna take the last of the stamps that I did not use that is this one so I basically used all the stamps and that will be this little stamp right here that you can also die cut where is my die cut here my set of dies this one is the one that will die cut these flowers i think i think it does because i don't think it die cuts a, a sentiment no it does not die cut the sentiment it does die cut these flowers right here okay but what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab, which color is this? It's either, I'm going to do bubble bath, just to make sure. Okay. And I'm going to stamp a bubble bath here. Oops. Mine is darker this time, but that's okay. And bubble bath over there. That's it. And now I can put this one down like so. Yeah, I love these colors together. I hope you do too. I'm telling you, Stamping Up is, well, with the color combination, color coordination, they are rocking it. Okay, then I'm taking my, this is Lemon Lolly. And it's going to go right there. And I punched. Uh, this is going to go like so. Where did I put mine? Yeah, it's going to be right there. Glue it down. This is going to go like so. Because I want it to be. Oh, yeah, this is four and a fourth. So it has to be within the card width. Then you're going to take this. And it's going to go right there. Okay, but we're not done. I think I'm going to go with dimensionals. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm telling you, this is my kind of card. So we went for simple, from simple and easy to all out. There. We're taking now our flowers. I'm going to put it right there. And we're using mini dimensionals, poking this one out. I don't like it. Come on. Okay, so putting it where there is more room. Okay, this one is going to go up there, like there, like so. So we want one up here. So we kind of uh, secure all of them and one right there. Okay, here we go. Ready or not, this goes down. Mm. This goes like so. Let's do it like so. Voila. Then where are my sprigs? Right here. I'm taking these sprigs and we are tucking them in right there. And I'm going to put a mini glue dot because I don't want to put glue. Mini glue dot and I need my tool. Let's see if I can just play without voila and then this one is gonna go under here like so there and then we're done I'm gonna stamp the sentiment put the ribbon on and we're done Okay, voila. 
then we're going to stamp the sentiment. The sentiment is going to go right there. And we're saying with this sentiment, we're saying that your friendship means everything, right? And then we're almost done for this card right there. And we're going to stamp it in memento. Voila. Done. We want two dimensionals or many dimensionals. Let's see where we're going to put them. There. So, one here and one there. Peel it off, peel it off. And voila. And then we're gonna take this, make it a little smaller, squeeze it in. Another mini glue dot. And ladies and gentlemen, we're almost done with this card. And this is gonna go like so. Oops, I don't want to cover my sentiment. I'm going to trim this and this. And now it's time to use our embellishments. I think I'm going to go with the... I haven't used Lemon Lolly. So we're going to go... I'm going to do something different with this one. I think I'm going to go, I can put it here, color on color. Mm, I don't know where, right there. Nope, don't like it. Oh, right there. Voila, to balance it out. And maybe use the small ones to tuck them in. One right there. And another one right here. Ha! Huh, done! Okay, now the inside of your card, you can stamp whatever. And since we have the small stamps, we're going to go with bubble bath inside to just tie everything in. And voila! And we are done. I hope you're still there. I don't know who's going to win the cards tonight. Do we have enough people? Let's see. Because you need to be present in order to win. Because if you're new, I have, you know, I need your address. Okay, ladies, I'm done. What time is it? What? It wasn't too bad. So what do you think? This is more my style, right? So this is the all, what I would call, I want it all. Okay. Then we went down to this card right here. Let me just um, fold this one down and give it a crease on this one as well. So it stays down. Okay. And then we went to this that is okay we stepped it up with the die cut and this we stamped directly okay what do you all think which one is your favorite if you have any oh i was looking love it this is a beautiful card beautiful my favorite one tonight which one is this the last one um Yeah, this is um this is more of my style, right? Technique, layers. This is, you know, for this is the casual stamper, this is the casual plus, and then we're going to the avid and super avid because this is technique and everything else. Okay, so Three and four, my favorite, but all cards are beautiful. They're great. Last one is a favorite. Can't wait to see what you make for craft. 
Oh, Aaron, I I show them. Aaron, you didn't watch because probably you were busy. So this is crafty, okay? So they, these are this is crafty, okay? I'm using all ink colors, okay? This is not. This is only for those that will sign up for the class. This is that. This is that. This is that is a fun fold. And this is another fun fold. I used all the in colors and play matchy matchy with the designer series paper. So these are that completely different, and these are tonight. Okay. No, I just show I was ten late. Love crafty. Okay, good. Erin, I just showed you the card, so you know. But remember one thing: I will not die cut anything that is included in the bundle okay uh, you'll have to have your bundle to do the cards or substitute okay let me do the drawing and write down the names see who the winners are so let me just copy they're all beautiful can't wait to make them in my to-go kit yes Erin I know this month you can't be with us because you're busy you're starting to get busy 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 Ladies, thank you so much for watching tonight. And as usual, you are able to get the cards for free with your minimum $35 order. You get just the supplies, the card stock and the ribbon. If your order goes over $55, you get the supplies plus a pack of the um, dots to finish your cards. Okay, I will give you all those supplies. Um of the car stock that you will need to cut because you need to have the bundle to finish them all. Otherwise, you can stamp whatever you want in your cards if you don't have them. 